Subtle skills, big results. Welcome to the Ninja Selling Podcast. Hey, everyone. It's your good friend, Eric Thompson. This is the Ninja Selling Podcast. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it, you guys. This one is called Four Days in 20 Minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the biggest takeaways that I had from the recent Ninja installation that I just attended in beautiful Fort Collins, Colorado, so that you can either be reminded of some of the big takeaways that you had during your installation, or if you haven't been yet, it will give you an idea of what happens in the installation. It'll give you some value, some takeaways, and who knows, it might inspire you to attend one. And hey, if you've been to one before, it might inspire you to attend another one. So as you guys know, I am the president of Ninja Coaching, and what is interesting for me as I talk about the installation is the fact that I remember the very first one back in the day in 2009. So I think a lot of you know that for a time, for five wonderful years, I was the president of the group real estate right here in Fort Collins, Colorado. And the group real estate, of course, is the home, the birthplace of ninja selling. And so when I first started in that position, Back in November of 2009, the Ninja installation was in development. And you guys, I remember going into the office at the group and I would see Larry Kendall and Don Tennyson. A lot of you all know Don. Don is one of our wonderful Ninja instructors. I remember them hold up in Larry's office, heads down, great conversations, clearly working hard, clearly in the process of doing something really cool and exciting and fantastic. And I didn't know what they were doing. So I said to our marketing director at the time, her name was Helen Gray, I said, Helen, what is going on in there? What are Larry and Don working on? And she said, oh, well, they're working on this new class. Larry had this idea of taking all the Ninja content and putting it into four days into an immersive experience. And she was telling me about that. And then, of course, I started asking Larry all kinds of questions about that. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is fantastic. This is exciting. And then, lo and behold, the first one was offered at the group real estate. Nine people were there. I'll never forget those first four days. And I sat in on a lot of it. And I was like, this is amazing. And now today, as you all know, it is especially amazing because we've had like thousands of people from all over the world attend these four days. So for me, it's pretty special to think back that I was there to witness the first one and to see what it has become is uh, especially fantastic. Now, look, I've sat through uh, many installations. I have maybe sat through is in the best term. I have experienced many installations. I get takeaways each and every time. So this one, again, is going to be, uh, this podcast, again, is going to be my takeaways from this most recent time so that you get some takeaways. What you need to know, first of all, I'll I'll tell you some things that did not happen this last week, uh, some things that didn't go on these last four days. What didn't happen was a group of people there, by the way, there were like 90 people in the room. What didn't happen was 90 people sitting around worrying or uh, wringing their hands over the future concerned about the future of the industry or the future of their business, the future of their career in real estate, worrying about uh, the, the fees that they're going to get paid in, into the future and, and new ways of doing business. No one was <laughs> sitting around talking about those things. Now, look, we acknowledge those things in the room and we talked about how to address them and how to be better given uh, the new landscape, given the new rules of the game. But there was no worrying about it, right? Again, there was no people like wringing their hands about it. We were just focused on our clients. We were focused on adding value to them, like like delighting them in brand new ways. We were focused on the things that we could absolutely control, like our mindset, our skill set, our actions. We were focused on the fact that, you know what? There is always a market. There's always a market, regardless of new rules of the game in our industry, regardless of interest rates, there's always a market. So that's what we are focused on. And that is something absolutely that you too can focus on. So we need to be fully aware of the new rules of the game and we need to sharpen our skills, right? Be even better. We need to not put our head in the sand 
But we also need to then shift back to what it is that we can control. So I hope that that is a takeaway for you. The Ninja installation always is full of amazing stories, stories in the slideshow and then stories in the room among the people who are there. I'll share just a couple quick ones that I thought were terrific, a couple of quick stories in the room. There was a gentleman there, I think he had attended five or six Ninja installations going back several years. He has recently lost 85 pounds. He owes it to new mindsets and new actions, new ways of living that he learned and committed to in the Ninja installation. 85 pounds. So amazing. I met a husband, wife, and they were there for their second Ninja installation. They are six years in the business. They committed to Ninja three years ago. Last year, their company had to create a brand new award within their company because they are achieving results never before seen in their company. So this husband wife team, they were able to help last year with 53 transactions. They're on pace to exceed that this year. And again, they've, they've hit these new levels of volume that have never occurred in their company before. So their company brokerage owners having to come up with these new awards to keep up with the production, keep up with the results of this amazing husband wife team. And uh, no surprise, they, they owe it all to Ninja. They owe it to what they've committed to in the Ninja installation. Okay, so let's get to the takeaways. So what you might remember, if you have attended a Ninja installation, what you might remember is that a really effective, useful dialogue to a seller is when we talk to them about, you know what, we believe, we as ninjas talking to a seller, we believe that your biggest expense seller is the money you don't make. Your biggest expense is the money that's left on the table because of incorrect pricing or ineffective negotiation or stumbling through the process. So we talk to a seller about how we help with that. We talk to a seller about our points of value, help them to get to the very top of the range in terms of what's possible in, uh, for them to net from a transaction. So here's the thing, we bring that same philosophy to coaching. So when we think about a real estate agent and what their income might look like over the next 12 months, what we know is it's a range of value based on their mindset, their skill set, their actions. So my coaching to you for you to understand is that your biggest expense is the money that you don't make, right? Your biggest expense is the money that you don't make. So what you're going to earn over the next 12 months is very much dependent upon your mindset, your skill set, your actions. So what that leads to then is focusing on the vital few. Do you remember the conversation about the vital few and the ninja installation? It's tied to the Pareto principle, the old 80-20 that you've heard of before. 20% of your actions create 80% of your results. So are you focused on the vital few? Are you focused on the things that will move the needle the most for you, get you the best results, add the most value to your clients? I think right now is a really important time for us to be aware of uh, do a check-in on, like do an audit of our vital few. Are we focused on the vital few? I think a really good way for you to do that, if you've been to the installation before, go back to your notes from the installation, pull out your green sheet, write your green sheet where you write down all the takeaways from the installation, go circle one thing. So that's, that's coaching that we give to people in the room at the installation. We say, hey, you've learned a lot here. What's one thing you're going to do? Circle that one thing. So go do that maybe even pause this podcast and go find your green sheet and determine, decide, focus on what is the one thing that you're going to really double down on, go all in on that will cause the greatest impact that will make the most difference for you. Maybe it's your morning routine and getting back to writing affirmations and writing gratitudes, or reading something positive. Maybe for you, it's live flow and, and committing to getting up to those 50 live contacts. Maybe for you, it's real estate reviews. Maybe for you, it's cleaning up your database. Maybe for you, it's really dialing in your seller process, your buyer process. I think you get the point. There's a lot you could do, but what's one thing? Just pick one thing that will really make a difference for you for this last quarter of the year and really commit to that. Really, really go do that. Okay, so what you know is that in the installation, we focus on three things, mindset, skill set, action. We say there are three keys to success, your mindset, your skill set, your action. 
So I'm going to give you one takeaway in each one of those categories that I had during the Ninja installation. Mindset takeaway absolutely is this. There's always a market. There was always a market. So are you believing that? Are you focused on that? Are you seeing that? Do you know there's always a market? And the reason why we know that there's always a market is because there's always what? There's always change. There was always change in people's lives, regardless of the new rules of the game in, in our industry, regardless of interest rates, regardless of elections, uh, really, regardless of whatever's happening in the economy. The thing is, is that change keeps going along, right? The, the fact that there's change doesn't change. This is kind of a fun way to say that. So just a few examples. Did you know every year there's 7 million newborn babies every single year? 7 million uh, new babies are born. 3 million people get married. One and a half million, unfortunately, get divorced. 7 million people turn 65. 4 million people pass away. 4 million net new jobs are created every year. 50 million people switch jobs. So let me ask you this. Is there change? <laughs> yes. Is there a lot of change? Yes. Does that create opportunity for us? Yes. So look, even though the number of transactions as we look nationwide is down compared to 2021, right? It's down, depending on your market, it's down between 30 to 40%. Yes. But if we think about that in terms of water in a glass, you know, is the, is the glass half full, half empty? Well, if we look at the decrease in transactions compared to 2021, yes, there's 30% less water in the glass, but the glass is 70% full. So are you focused on the empty part or are you focused on the full part? Are you focused on the water that's not in the glass or are you focused on the water that is in the glass? The thing is that glass is sitting there 70% full, which means for you, there is plenty of opportunity, plenty of opportunity. There will be in 2024 on the order of somewhere in the ballpark of 80 billion with a B billion dollars of uh, real estate commission revenue generated in our business. Is that enough? Let me ask you this. Is that enough? I think it's enough, right? That's enough to go around, right? We, we, can, we can have $80 billion go around, right? So there's plenty there for us. There's plenty of opportunity. There's plenty of uh, chance to serve. Our clients need us right now. So your mindset is one of abundance and abundance just means you're focused on the fact that there's 70% there's of water in that glass. And that's what you think about. That's what you focus on. That's what drives you, not the 30% that's empty. You look at the 70%. That was the mindset takeaway, the skill set takeaway. Again, we're going mindset, skill set, action. The skill set takeaway, right? So many in the Ninja installation, but let's pick one. The skill set takeaway is the buyer process. And, and specifically in the buyer process, it's what we call act one, right? So you are the director of a three act play when you work with a buyer. Act one is the buyer counseling, right? So that's when you sit down with a buyer, get to know them, get to know what they're looking for, get to know where they are in the process, get to know their past experiences. They get to know you and what you're going to bring to the game, the value that you bring. They get to know the process you're going to take them through. That is, that is act one. And let's get even more specific than that as we think about one specific skill set, specifically the buyer packet having a dialed in buyer packet, a packet of information that's everything that that buyer would need to know about before they were to start into this process. And even more specific than that would be two things that you ensure in the buyer's packet. One would be your brand new or uh, newly revised buyer agreement based on whatever market you're in and then the company that you're with, you, you have some new documents to work with, put them in the packet because it gives you a really nice, soft, easy, user-friendly way of introducing that new, that new information. So that way it doesn't feel like you're springing it on them. It doesn't feel like a surprise. It's just sitting right there. You can reference it and you say, hey, by the way, in this packet is the document that you and I will use to clarify our arrangement, to clarify our agreement, all the things I'm going to do for you, how I'm compensated. We'll get to that here in a little bit, right? So it makes a really easy way to introduce it. Okay. And then the other thing you have in that packet is a document that articulates your value, right? So this is the specific skill set takeaway for you. It's act one of the buyer process. 
And even more specific than that is the buyer packet. Even more specific than that is you get the your new or newly revised buyer agreement in there. And then you also have something that articulates your five points of value that you're taught in the Ninja installation, right? So that one pager, or maybe it's multi-pages that you are creating, your company is helping you create, walks that buyer through the five items of value, the five things you bring to the game that will be helpful and very relevant to that buyer. That I think was the, the biggest skill set takeaway. Okay, we're going to finish with actions because we always go mindset, skill set, actions, right? So the action, what I would recommend, what I suggest based on what I saw happen in the Ninja installation and what we know of our coaching clients, we have hundreds of ninjas all over the country that our wonderful group of ninja coaches work with. What we see working, we see a lot of things working, but if there's one, it's real estate reviews. Commit to doing your two live real estate reviews per week. And if for some reason you're not able to do them live, you're gonna put them in the mail, you're gonna, you're gonna follow up. But what we know is live works the best. And you know what? We owe it to our clients. We owe it to these people that we know. We owe it to these people that, that know us. We owe it to these people whom we want them to see us as a trusted advisor. You know, the way that we develop that positioning in their mind of us being a trusted advisor is to keep them updated as to what's happening with their property. You know, the easiest way to do that is with the real estate review. And so make it simple, right? So this is not something to overcomplicate. This is not something to uh, overly think about. Let's not get in our own way about a real estate review. You just do two a week. Just pick two people a week that you could offer this terrific report to, put together some relevant information, just a handful of pages, get it in their hands, offer it to them as a, as a service to them, even dare I say, as a gift to them, for them to be aware of, up to, up to speed on what's happening with their property, what's happening in the real estate market. If you want to know about one thing that's working really, really well right now for people, it's real estate reviews. Okay. So again, this is your recap of a terrific four days. We're doing four days in 20 minutes. We focus on mindset, skill set, action. Mindset is there's always a market. There's always a market because there is change. If you're going to really dial in one skill, that is relevant to right now to the new rules of the game that will make you feel like you're on top of that, uh, make you feel confident when it comes to the new rules of the game is you're going to have a great act one with a buyer. Specifically, you're going to have a great buyer packet. And in that packet, you'll have your new or newly revised buyer documents, something that shows and clarifies the value that you bring to a buyer, the action that you're going to take, you're going to commit to right now, my friends, commit to two real estate reviews per week. Okay. I hope this is helpful. I hope you got value from this. I appreciate you listening. It means the world to me. It means the world to us, all of us here at Ninja Selling and the Ninja Nation, the fact that you would engage with this. Uh, if you're curious about coaching, go to our website, ninjaselling.com. And you'll see there at the top navigation menu, it says coaching. You can contact us. We can get you connected with a coach for a complimentary consultation. Happy to do that. And I am so happy to be offering this podcast to you and so happy about the fact that you are engaged and listening. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. If you enjoyed this episode, visit us at theninjasellingpodcast.com to learn more about ninja selling classes and coaching to get you started or further your journey on the ninja path. Thank you for joining us. Now go have an incredible day.